Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days so it's a beautiful morning today uh, I hope everybody's having a good morning for one okay to start it all off um, today I wanted to go a little bit into uh, a type of a type of uh, illness that humanity's going through um, a type of illness that that is being projected on us via the media um, for one and it kind of ties into like a, I want to say a chemical warfare um, kind of like a chemical warfare type of thing uh, we're gonna get into it with this one all right uh, it could also be part of uh, the castration that I talked about a few days ago, um, they're actually chemically castrating the masses uh, and and most individuals who are living within the society nowadays uh, by putting things or putting chemicals in the foods, in the water, uh, in most things that we are pretty much putting into our bodies and and. Um, I talked about this in, in a, a video a few days ago called chemical castration and what they're doing with that is they're um, pretty much putting chemicals in the foods and in water and, and uh, various other places um, so then the, 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 the chemicals they pretty much have been uh, understood through experimentation to transform uh, testosterone into estrogen and and uh, testosterone is what pretty much uh, drives a man you know uh, in some dimensions and estrogen is what uh, allows for the development of uh, the feminine reproductive systems so what they're doing to people is they are uh, pretty much putting us through mutations uh, through some of these chemicals that they're allowing into the foods. And, and one of these chemicals is called atrazine. And atrazine is one of the uh, most common pesticides or herbicides used in uh, societies nowadays, uh, America. Okay, and it's been proven once again to convert testosterone into estrogen. And uh, if our testosterone is being converted into estrogen on a uh, deeper level, it's uh, actually transmuting us into feminine beings, you know. Um, and, and you can see this throughout, <laughs> you can see this throughout society. Um, I want to say uh, males are most definitely becoming more feminine on a subtler level. Okay, and... Um, it may not just be because people are, are acting this way, but it may be something deeper, which it is. It's a genetic, uh, genetic alteration that they're actually uh, imposing onto us, which most people don't know about. Okay, um, but I'm not going to get into this specifically today. I'm going to get more into a type of uh, trend of this, of this type of uh, this type of thing. You know, I don't want to specifically call it like a chemical attack because it could be um it could be some something even deeper than than uh what we already misunderstood you know as being nothing um 
and by this I mean it could be uh, that the earth has some bigger plan for for things but um, let's get into into uh, the trend of it all okay of uh, chemical attack all right so to start I want to get into um, as of late when when I'm like on YouTube or whenever I'm on a Whenever I'm pretty much seeing ads, okay, advertisements, uh, they've been pretty much like transmitting the program of um, eating synthetic materials, you know, and, and, and by this I mean uh, the advertisements, they always come with programs, right? Uh, a program is pretty much um, what has been written in uh, Hebrew. Gram translates to uh, what has been written, okay, and then you add the, the prefix pro to it. So program, it's uh, pretty much what has been written, okay, and, and uh, what a program really is, it's the transmission of information that is uh, pretty much rewriting your genetics because uh, genetics is built up off of information, you know, information um, and what they do with the media they uh they 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 transmit information through the media this is why uh the television the 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 shows are called television programs because they're programs and programs is uh what is being written okay so they're writing something into your genetics they're transmitting and and rewriting your genetics and genetics decides your expression and your form so they can literally change how you are going to express yourself throughout your life and they can literally change how you are appearing as a as a form you know um and it goes much deeper than than just expression and form as well but um lately i've been seeing advertisements programming um programming uh wanting to programming people to to eat synthetic materials okay so so for one example um there is the uber eats uh advertisements that are pretty common nowadays okay and they're pretty much like um they're um they're showing the actors pretty much like uh a little confused with what is actually food and what is actually um well, what is actually food and what is just like uh, a plastic toy or something and uh, they portray the actor eating this now you may say that it's like um, you may say that it's like okay well that's not a big deal we all know better not to go eating things that are actually purely synthetic you know and not even food at all um, but the whole thing about this is is that of course people are going to say that that it's no big deal because we all know better but the truth of it is is that that's kind of ego uh when it comes to our organism we may be uh more mentally ill than we think okay or than we we uh, understand ourselves to be and uh nobody wants to admit that they're mentally ill you know and and we live in a mentally ill society all of society is completely insane all right, and this is a mental illness. Um, and what they're doing is they're they're creating that veil so that we all think that that we're not mentally ill. But but the truth of it is is that uh, we all we all kind of are, and that's just how they're keeping us here. Um, I mean, they're literally castrating us with with all the food and all the, the chemicals they're putting in the waters and and everything. So like. Of course, we, we are going to be susceptible to some type of illness, you know, when it comes to the mental body. Uh, we are mentally damaged, all right, as a collective, um, not any type of individual uh, sickness. It's a shared sickness, okay? Um, and what they're doing with these advertisements, they're programming people to get comfortable with uh, eating synthetic materials. Uh, and and there's more, much more examples of this. Um, I remember one time I saw my brother. He was just like laying in his room, right? Uh, and he was watching a video. It was some Asian children. It was uh, some Japanese children. 
and they were kind of like just uh, filming a video that they put on YouTube that my brother was watching, right? And they were just eating like synthetic materials. It wasn't even, uh, it wasn't food. It was just synthetic materials. It was just like plastics that they were eating uh, rubbers or, or something. And it was very, very weird. And I kind of felt like, uh, like I wanted to protect my, my, my sibling because I know the, the influence that, um, that media has on a person. Okay, uh, you may think that it's very, very, um, that it doesn't influence you because you may be living surface level or, or superficially, but on much deeper levels, it does influence you and it does uh, take some type of, um, it does program you in a way. Okay, and now, for example, my sibling was watching this type of content, right, of, of some uh, Japanese children eating some synthetic uh, materials. They, it wasn't even food. They were just eating, like, uh, I don't even know what it was, paint or something, you know. Um, to me, that seems like, like, like a, a type of attack, you know. Um, and what that does... It, it plants seeds in the youth or it plants seeds in the people who are actually watching it who are uh, who don't really know better who are also uh, who are also who have also fallen ill to these mental um, declines you know which we're all suffering from nowadays especially with, with the pandemics and whatnot uh, just to add to the to the mental decline that was already in place you know um, so so what that what that type of content is doing it, it's programming him. It's planting seeds deeply in his subconscious mind. So when he's uh, a little bit older, it it may have some type of influence on him that can lead to some type of physical damage if he ever tries to do something uh, like eating these types of synthetic materials. You know. Um, and this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. To me, this seems like a chemical attack that is taking place with no face. You know, there's no uh, individual behind this. It's just kind of what's going on, you know, and um, we're all responsible for it. So what I wanted to, to also uh, example was uh, the Tide Pod Challenge. You know, this was uh, one of these attacks you know it's like a chemical attack it was trending uh people recording themselves and and making it a trend to eat a tide pod you know or put it in their mouth until it melts away or whatever it may have been uh i think that's just absolutely insanity and that is insanity and that's mental illness that's literally an example of mental illness we all know better uh to not eat a tide pod but the, the whole fact of it is is that people, um, they're within this mental illness. And, and it's not just individuals, it's the whole of society. Society in itself is an illness. It's a cancer to the earth. Okay, if you understand cancer cells, and then you correspond uh, the globe as a body, then societies act as a cancer cell. Okay, and that's literally what they are. And uh, you can see that the, the toll that it's taking on people's mental body, on our collective mental body, uh, it's damaged it most definitely and uh, another example once again we trended eating Tide Pods you know which are just synthetic materials chemicals um, and then this pretty much trended throughout media and and more and more people began doing it to maybe get popular you know uh, so in that way uh, they, they applied selling their self selling their health out selling who they are out to uh, become popular on social media. You know, uh, they didn't care or they don't care about the consequences of their actual livelihood or their well-being, you know. Um, and, and this is the problem. This is uh, what they're pretty much doing. Uh, and they're not done. They're just getting started with this. So it's like, what to do? Um... I like to push the message to avoid media as much as possible, okay? Uh, because media may not be the best thing uh, for people because it's it's mainly to breed consumers, you know. And and I'm not uh, somebody who is who 
who is away from consuming myself, I am most definitely somebody who uh, majorly consumes as well, all right? But I'm working on it every single day to try and become more of a producer, okay? And I wanna say we, learn, we can learn this from plants because plants are the producers, you know? Um, so use plants as teachers and this, this message can uh, get very shamanistic as well. Um, use plants as teachers you know, uh, this is what any uh, plant substance, any psychedelic that is a plant, mainly and a natural uh, natural substance, will tell you as well during the the experience, the transcendental experience. It will make sure that you learn to um, to heal yourself, and and it will teach you to learn from uh, things other than yourself and other from humanity. It will teach you to learn from the animals, it will teach you to learn from the plants because all of life teaches you, okay? And, and the plants are the producers. This is one thing that we learned. The plants are producers, so if you learn from the plants, they're going to, be, they're going to teach you how to be a producer instead of a consumer. And uh, once you can become a producer, um, it will, it will uh, benefit your life uh, quite a bit. Okay, um, now how to avoid these attacks? I want to say that you can avoid media once again, um, but you can also become observant, all right? This is one thing that I've learned as well, becoming observant uh, of the, the smaller things, you know, learning to observe the programs, learning to observe the algorithms, learning to observe the, the smaller things that are being kept in your peripheral, learning to observe the, the things being projected onto your blind spots, you know, learning these things and, and understanding how they're affecting you and influencing you. Um, this can also help you to avoid these types of uh, chemical attacks. You know, it may be like a type of civil warfare. It could be anything, you know. Uh, most definitely an illness, though, is what I want to say. A mental illness that is taking place collectively because of the consumerism of society. Um, we're consuming away the globe. Once again, uh, we're acting so animalistically when in reality we should be the gods of the earth and we should be uh, bringing revolution to the earth. We should be transcending our current dimensional existence and we should uh, be teaching the animals to follow us and, and evolve into higher forms of themselves as well and we should be uh, coexisting with with plants you know and trees and and uh, and this because we are in a we are in a, a very very uh, mutual existence you know, we are synonymous with each other. Uh, we are breathing out carbon dioxide and, and the plants are breathing, uh, breathing out oxygen. And in that way, we're keeping each other alive. But then we go and, and take out all the rainforest. That's insanity. You know, we're just killing ourselves in our pursuit for, for uh, global domination. You know, and, and that's how humanity will go extinct if we don't understand this. And, and the whole thing about it is, is that um, a lot of people do understand this, but, but the people who are, are keeping the control over the globe and pushing out this consumerism and programming people to be this way are the ones who are uh, not even human anymore. And, and they're just teaching the masses to do the same thing because uh, they're the global dominators, you know, the elites, the shadow government, uh, the one percenters, you know, they are responsible for uh, a lot of the information or the programming that, that gets transmitted throughout the masses, you know, and, and a lot of them are responsible for, uh, for uh, diminishing the rainforests and uh, bringing down the health of the earth as well, you know, because they're not for the, the continuation of humanity. They are for the uh, dimini dimination or uh, the domination of humanity, you know. So what uh, we can do is we can understand not to uh, follow the crowd. I want to say trust what you know to be true 
and we all know that we need plants and we need to learn from them we need to um, stay in whatever health we can we can muster up nowadays you know uh, we need to do these types of things so we can continue the the entirety of humanity as a species otherwise we're going to go uh, extinct and there is going to be civil wars there is going to be all of these uh, catastrophes that take place and um, what we need to do to to uh, at least brace ourselves or prevent these things or avoid these is uh, take responsibility for for uh, where we're at right now as individuals and if we can do that individually we can do it uh, collectively and then we can start some type of um, some type of, of uh, ascension into into living more in harmony with nature once again instead of consuming it away as as some consumers you know we can start being producers in collective and then we can start ascending into higher dimension living you know which is uh, what we need to do as a species because what's going to happen if we do go through an extinction uh, the the species may just reincarnate and and we're in uh, the same place that we're in right now it's it's simulative in its nature it's just looping you know this is what reincarnation is uh, we can reincarnate as a species over and over and over until we get the lessons that we need to understand as a species and then we can um, make steps into ascending the current physical form that we're, we're collectively in you know and this is what is taking place with the great awakening uh, so there's no need to really worry about it, but more and more individuals need to wake up. Otherwise, uh, we will go through extinctions and we will go through these catastrophes globally. All right. Um, so that's pretty much the message for today. Um, I hope everybody did enjoy for one. I hope I, um, got you a little motivated to, to bring a little bit of change, uh, to yourself or to other people's. Okay. That's going to be it once again. Um, generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise in consciousness. I love you, everybody. Have a great day. Enjoy your morning. And peace out. One love.